Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying safe during this difficult time. I know that it's changed my lifestyle a lot and I'm sure yours too, but I hope you're staying busy and safe and just keeping yourself occupied the best you can. So before all of this happened, I actually went to college. Yeah, imagine that, like went there on a campus. Um, I went to Penn State University at the main campus and it was my freshman year and it was a wonderful experience and it went a little bit like this. a little glimpse of my college experience before it was taken away um, I wanted to share with you how I use essential oils during my experience at Penn State I've been using oils my entire life my mom used them on me since I was a baby and I grew up using them as my only form of health care basically I don't take antibiotics or any of that stuff so I use oils constantly and I want to share with you 10 ways that I use them in college. I did probably a little bit more than these 10 ways but that's just kind of my lifestyle so I wanted to give you something to start with and then I'll continue doing videos with like more in-depth things that I do with oils. So let's get started. So my first tip to you is to invest in a diffuser, okay? These are diffusers, um, doTERRA sells many different types of them. These are just two, these both use water. You put water in there first and then you put a few drops of whatever blend or oil that you wanna use. Um, there are so many different types of diffusers. doTERRA sells many different models, as you can see here, and there's actually one in my room back there, a petal diffuser. So you can look into those and purchase whichever one that you would like. Um, they're super important because they cleanse the air in a room in 10 minutes, so you can keep this in your dorm room. I actually had three at Penn State. I had one in my room where I slept, I had one in our common room where me and four, three other girls were, and then one in our bathroom. Um, they really help with your mood. They're uplifting, relaxing, invigorating, depending on which oils you use. So different oils do different things. Um, lavender, you know, is very calming, and peppermint, that's very energizing, and so are citrus oils. So depending on what you're doing whenever you're diffusing, um, you might want to change up what oil. Whenever I studied, I really like to use Adaptive, which is one of the blends that doTERRA um, sells. It's right here. It's good for stress and just keeping your mind focused and all those things. You can make up whichever blends, mix whatever oils you want together in a diffuser, but if you're looking for something kind of simple where you just have to put one oil in, I recommend taking a look at the emotional line that doTERRA sells. I have a little kit right here, and there are a total of, I think, six oils in here. Yeah, there are six, and they're all cute. I think I shared this in the video, but there's cheer, console, forgive, motivate, passion, peace. So those are like self-explanatory. If you want to feel motivated, put some motivate in the diffuser. Um, another simple collection, if you're looking for something easy, is the yoga collection. Um, this is only, I think, three oils. Yeah, three oils, a line, anchor, and a rise. Those are a little less self-explanatory, but it explains them all in the back. Anchor is a grounding blend, a line is a centering blend, and a rise is an uplifting blend. So I challenge you to try to make your own blends or maybe try some of the blends that doTERRA already sells. So this is the diffuser that we kept in the bathroom at college and we just let it run all the time. It's a really good alternative to things like Febreze or any other air fresheners that you might use in a bathroom. Um, I used rosemary in this one, but I also used the emotional line, which is shown here. It's really easy because there's already blends of oils and they're already fixed up for you at college is to make sure that you're taking the vitamins. doTERRA sells a lifelong vitality selection of vitamins which is three different vitamins. These are like your foundation. These kind of cover 
all the bases and then from there you can build on for your individual needs so there are three different capsules within here um the first one that i'm pulling out is the micro plex vmz food nutrient complex so this one is going to be your vitamins and minerals in our in my american diet we do not get enough nutrients from the soil that our foods are processed in because there's not proper nutrition in the soil for our foods to grab and then we don't have that in our body so you have to supplement even if you think you eat plenty of fruits and vegetables you probably don't it's um you're just not going to get the nutrients from them that you would need so that's your first one um second one let me get it out is the eomega complex so this is a complex of a bunch of essential oils um this is your fish and land oils it's good for your skin hair nails all that stuff and it's good for your cardiovascular health um, the last one is should be alpha crs this is the cellular complex um it's full of antioxidants it, it is used to increase your energy improves your mental clarity so when you're studying at school you want to make sure that you have taken this um it also helps build your immune system so these three i'm holding right here are you have you have to take these like i'm telling you you will feel like a different person if you take them um you can start out with a half dose which would be two of each of these two of each of the three so that's six <laughs> capsules a day or the adult the full dosage is going to be four of each of these a day i do take the four and i take two of each in the morning two of each at night um, if you're looking for like one extra thing to do, I would also recommend taking Terrazyme. It is a blend of enzymes and enzymes are used to break down your food. This is going to be really important for your gut health and things like that. Um, you get natural enzymes from raw foods that aren't cooked, but when you cook something, you actually, actually can denature the proteins in it and enzymes are proteins. So your cooked foods are lacking many of the natural enzymes that they originally had, so you need something to help your body digest them, and that is this. Um, it's a must try. Um, I use it every day. I use it with the cleanse. I use it on a normal basis. I couldn't live without this product. Um, it's gonna support your digestive, and anything that's cooked, like starches and meats, you need extra enzymes to break those things down. Um, in the video that you're about to watch, it, I'm going to show you all of the vitamins that I take. I take a lot. You obviously do not have to take all of those. Those are individual to my health, but you can see what I take and know that you're not going to be taking too many supplements from doTERRA. I take a bunch and I just keep adding on because I keep finding new benefits to them. So enjoy that. <laughs> So this is the little container that I kept all of my vitamins and capsules in while I was at school and my mom labeled so cutely there on top. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the LLV and this one is the food nutrient complex. This is all your vitamins and minerals. The next one is Eomega and that has all your land and fish oils and then Alpha CRS which is full of antioxidants and helps with increased energy and mental clarity. Terrazyme we went over, that's enzymes to help break down your food. And then vitamin C is an antioxidant. I just need a little bit more of this. Zinc is used to keep healthy skin and build your immune system. Vitamin D is fat soluble and also to help your immune system. Vitamin B12 is one that I take because of the autoimmune gene that I carry. Euro palm has extra zinc, vitamin C, melissa, and euro palm oil, which is good for your immune health and skin radiance. And then turmeric helps support, support, support brain function and active lifestyle and keeps inflammatory processes in check. So this is just me taking all of the vitamins. I really wanted to show you this because some people get afraid of how many vitamins and supplements they're taking. But this is how many I take. You can see it's a handful. And I take something close to this at least twice a day. And just kind of covers all my bases and makes me feel better. I also included this because I use this daily harvest um, smoothies when I was at school. I drank them every morning. And I have a similar routine at, stu at, at um, home. I also always try to eat like something that is fruit and vegetable based in the morning and the easiest way to do this is a smoothie. I also took PB Assist Junior at school because it was easy and it tastes just like a pixie stick. <laughs> so 
as some of you probably know, when you're at college, you're constantly on the go. You're actually probably spending less time in your dorm than you are like anywhere else. So my third recommendation to you is to carry your favorite essential oils with you all the time. You're about to see a clip that shows you what was in my book bag, but I forgot to mention that I also carried things in my coat pockets because it was cold and that was just easy. Whenever I was walking to another class, I already had it right in my pocket and I didn't have to unzip my book bag. I know, I was lazy, but whatever. Um, so the first thing in my coat was Slim and Sassy Gum. This is a metabolic gum, but it was just really energizing if I needed a little boost. Um, it came, it comes in like little packets like this, so I just would carry one in my book bag. It wasn't real heavy and bulky, and I would chew that constantly. I love that. And then the other thing I carried was On Guard Hand Sanitizer. This is a mixture of alcohol and On Guard essential oil, which gives you the benefits of supporting your immune system and then the alcohol, which is sanitizing. So these were the oils that I kept in my book bag all the time to help with school. The first one is Thinker, which is part of the kids line. Um, it supports mental clarity and you can use when you're studying and then like roll it on your wrist whenever you're taking your exam. Sometimes that can help trigger your memory. I also carried around Clary Calm because I use this one anytime I have my period. It's good for cramps for me and headaches and anything to do with emotions. I also started using Adaptive like halfway through my first semester when it came out. It was amazing, a game changer, great for de-stressing and helping with focus. You can diffuse this one. This is in a rollerball form, so I would just roll it on like the back of my neck, behind my ears. I also use Neroli. This one has a lot of studies that are associated with memory. So if you're looking to help retain information for your exam, I would definitely give this one a shot. Fourth thing that I recommend is using oils when you sleep. Your sleep is gonna be critical when you're at school because you're probably not gonna get enough of it. Depending on your age, we all need like different amounts of sleep. I think mine is like eight to nine hours or something, but um, I was lucky if I got that. Um, so your sleep is so important because that's whenever your immune system works its hardest to repair. So if you're not getting good sleep and solid sleep, like if you're waking up throughout the night because people are like banging in your hallway or your roommate's up, that's not healthy either. So if you can really get like zonked out, that is gonna be extremely helpful and just keep you restful um, for critical thinking throughout the day. So you can use oils. I always put them in my diffuser and on my bed sheets. You'll see a clip with that, but you can pretty much use whichever like peaceful oils that you want. Um, some of the ones that I use when I sleep is like lavender, serenity. Serenity is the blend that doTERRA makes and it's made to help you sleep. There are capsules with this too, so you could try those. Um, and then like eucalyptus, breathe, those things. So I mentioned a few of the common oils that people use whenever they sleep. I also had this little spray bottle, which was just a spray bottle of water with a few drops of serenity and that made it really easy to put it all over my sheets. But the two oils that I use almost every night were lavender and eucalyptus and occasionally breathe if I was having trouble with like a stuffy nose or something. Um, you can also try vetiver or Roman chamomile. Ravinsara is another one that I got because I order on LRP and if you become a customer you can get wellness insider oils that only you can get and they don't sell regularly. So yeah there's always those options as well. Tip for you is to use essential oils in your water. doTERRA's essential oils are safe to use internally which is when you take them in your body like that like you drink them or you take them in a capsule um, topically which is when you put them on your skin and third way is aromatically which is like when you use them in a the diffuser not all essential oils can be used all three ways like that but doTERRA's are special they are CPTG certified pure therapeutic grade you can drink them internally which is great for you because they're good to help detox your body especially the citrus oils and when you work out your body releases free radicals and the citrus oils help to support the detoxification process associated with those free radicals so whenever you're using essential oils which are super strong you don't want to use them in plastic or or with like plastic straws or anything like that so you want to have like a glass water bottle uh, i have two different types here or i use a hydro flask because it's metal on the inside as you can see in there this is what i kept with me all the time at school this is what i drank when i was in my dorm um, out on the go this was always in my book bag and i would just fill this up with water and another like extra tip is at school, the water is probably going to suck. It's probably gonna have chlorine. It's gonna taste 
maybe not so good so you want to invest in like a brita or some sort of water filter system i had a berkey um in my dorm because i had the space for it which i was fortunate but i would just fill this up with water and then put a drop or two of citrus oil probably like two or three because i'm a little extra with oils i always like to add more which is not always the best but it's what i do because I just love them so much but this is wild orange there are so many different types of citrus oils that you can drink in your water wild orange i have white grapefruit grapefruit um tangerine lemon lime clementine like there are so many options you will find one that you like and you will probably stick to the same one for like a week or so and then shift to a different one because well at least that's what i do so yeah so this is the intramural building at penn state this is where i typically worked out and I just wanted to show you this because this was my view. That was my water bottle filled with oils. I'll give you a little snapshot into the college life of working out. So when I work out, I always drink citrus oils in my water. That helps to detox your body. And when you work out, you're releasing free radicals and the citrus oils support the detoxification process. After I work out, sometimes I'm sore. So I like to use deep blue rub or deep blue polyphenols. They help with the soreness and so does copaiba if you have any pain, joint pain, muscle pain, anything like that. And frankincense is also another one you can try. You can try this one while you work out and rub it on your ribs and lungs and it can help with um, your respiratory system. So yeah, those are always options. Tip for you is to drink tea when you're in college and you might be wondering well that doesn't have anything to do with oils but when I was at school I was fortunate enough Duterte was doing like a special and they mixed herbs and oils into tea and I was like this is perfect like I need these so mom got them for me and the one was an immune booster and the other one was a soothing blend so I drank these religiously at night especially because I wanted to be like relaxed and that's another thing you can add to your nighttime routine before you go to sleep if you have time maybe drink a cup of tea and that will make your night a lot more restful now since these were limited edition teas I don't think they're selling them anymore maybe they'll come back in the future <laughs> but um you can add oils to teas that you already make um so like if you want to say your throat's hurting and you have a tea that's made for sore throats but it's not really giving you what you want you still have your sore throat you can try adding maybe like a drop or two of lemon to it a drop or two of cassia or cinnamon or something like that even bergamot can be good to add a drop or two to your tea it'll kind of amp it up and then you'll get the benefits from the herbs and the oils and what's better than that so by combining herbs and oils you're getting the herbs that are a little less potent than oils but still provide a gentle and soothing support and then you also get the oils combined in that Oils can be slightly compromised by the high heat of hot water, but they still provide additional cleansing and support benefits to the inside of our bodies. Um, by consuming with the herbs, they just kind of make it a dual benefit. You get some of the oils and some of the herbs together. And this is how I made it at school. I used a Keurig and a little um, like strainer for the oils and the herbs mixed together. And I wanted to show this little clip because a lot of times whenever I was studying, I would always have my diffuser going and then I would have a cup of tea and my water bottle sitting there on my desk. And then if I ever needed a little pick me up, I would just drink my tea. My seventh suggestion to you is whenever you're in school, you're going to have to be cleaning your own areas, which I don't know if you've done that at home. Maybe your mom did that for you or maybe not. but. Um, you want to use natural cleaners because this is going to reduce the toxic, toxic load on your body if you're using the natural cleaners opposed to ones with toxic ingredients. Um, there's no harmful aromas or anything associated with oils. If anything, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to be very benefiting, refreshing, uplifting while you're cleaning. And then that um, scent is going to last for a little while after you're done cleaning. So I'm about to show you some ways that I used cleaning supplies in my dorm in college and I hope that you try some of the recipes. So the first thing here is the glass cleaner which is really simple ingredients. It's just two cups of water, a half a cup of vinegar, a half a cup of rubbing alcohol, and 10 drops of lemon. I used this to wipe down our mirrors, um, anything that was glass, if you have like a glass um, shower screen or whatever, you can use it on there too. 
And then the all-purpose cleaner is two tablespoons of On Guard cleaner, 24 ounces of water, and then 12 to 15 drops of whatever combination of oils you want. We would do lemongrass and basil, which was really good. We would use less lemongrass and more basil, like 10 drops of basil. And then cassia and citrus bliss was another combination that we really enjoyed. I would also use the same all-purpose cleaner to clean the outer edges of the toilet seat. And then to create my own air freshener for the bathroom, even though I already had the diffuser going, I like to have the spray bottle sit by the toilet. And in this one I used rosemary and Hawaiian sandalwood. Another thing I would do with the oils was mop the floor. So I just took a bucket of water and squirted a little bit of the On Guard cleaner. Um, you know I never measure, but there are specific measurements on the back of the On Guard cleaner bottle that you could have measured that out. This is another trick I wanted to show. I always used vinegar, baking soda, and On Guard cleaner to clean our toilet. Toilet cleaners can be really harsh and have a lot of chemicals, and this is a really safe and easy way to do it. I would just put the On Guard cleaner in, sprinkle the baking soda around, and then squirt the vinegar on top of the baking soda, and that creates a chemical reaction, as I'm sure you know. It gets all fizzy, bubbly, and then soapy with the On Guard cleaner. Makes a great mixture to swish around and clean your toilet and make it white. So my eighth tip for you is to use oils in your laundry. So any chemicals that are on your clothes that come from detergents or softeners that you may be using are eventually going to enter into your body through your skin, which is your large, largest organ. So by choosing natural fragrances such as essential oils that are safe to use topically, internally, and those things, it's actually going to be benefiting you more than it is. It won't be harming you at all, actually. So the oils are going to not only support your skin, but your overall health and um, so using them in your clothes at school is just an easy way to keep layering oils on you and keeping yourself protected throughout the day. So you can use the laundry detergent that doTERRA sells. It's an on guard cleaning or laundry detergent. I almost said cleaning concentrate. Yeah, not that. That, that was in the last clip, huh? Um, but you can use this. This already has the oils in it, so that's kind of simple and done. Um, at school, I did not have this. Um, I don't know why I didn't order it, but I used another natural detergent, which was the seventh generation one. And um, this one I would just pour into the little like slot thing, and then I would add a few drops of an oil that I wanted to kind of spice it up with. Um, I didn't have citronella at the time, but recently I've been loving that, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, just a few drops of citronella to your detergent. I used bergamot when I was at school, and I would also put it in my laundry bag, which you can see that in a few minutes. And then another thing you can do is instead of using dryer sheets, which also have a lot of harmful chemicals on them, you can get like wool dryer balls and just take a few drops of whatever oil you want your clothes to smell like. This is bergamot and I would literally just like drop it all over. You don't have to do a ton. I always do a ton. You don't have to. Um, like honestly, like three drops is plenty or you can do like me and just do like one little so here's me just putting some bergamot on my laundry bag and then I would go pick up my clean clothes out of the dryer. My ninth tip to you is to incorporate oils into your skincare and hair care routines. So when you're at school you're probably going to be exposed to different waters and you may not think that this is going to affect you and I did not think it was going to affect me and it did. Um, not only are you dealing with the extra stress and the new eating habits that you're going to develop at school, you're also going to be exposed to probably a lot of chlorinated water. And you may be used to this, but me living in the country, I was not, and this caused me to break out some. My hair was a little drier, I got dandruff for the first time, like weird things were happening, and I was like, oh, take me home. Like, but it's okay. You want to try using some oils. Um, doTERRA has many different skincare lines. I'm going to show you a few of them, not really going into detail, but that might be for a future video. The Reveal System, this is like one that you could use like once a week to kind of give yourself an overall exfoliation, kind of reset your skin for the week and get you ready. 
Um, the facial cleanser in the gray bottles. I know, I don't actually know what these lines are called. I just call them by the color of the bottle. But um, this one is very hydrating, very moisturizing. I would use this sometimes if I was lacking moisture. The Virage was my favorite. It's a gel cleanser. Um, I just felt like it was made for my skin. Like it was the one that I saw the most results with. I would rotate between these other ones sometimes, but this was the one I used like on the daily. So I highly recommend this one. And I love the toner that goes with this set. Most of these sets, all of these sets have like the cleanser, the toner, the hydration, um, what's that called? cream, lotion, <laughs> yeah, that has that. Um, and then like oils to supplement it. Like um, clear skin is like a blend. Um, I actually have it somewhere over there but um the other cleanser that you can try is hg clear this one's really popular because it's simple and it's foaming and it has a nice little turn to go with it and i think it has a lotion and that's that's like the basic one and i do really like this one um anytime you use a foaming cleanser it's made to strip the oil off your skin so that's why it's foamy it's gonna like seep into your skin and then pull it out with the foam then it kind of strips it all away so if you're super oily i do recommend this one i also use this one probably once a week and when i would use this one i would put it on my skin and wait like 30 seconds before washing it off i just felt like it gave me a deeper clean um for your hair i'm just gonna give you one tip for your hair um it's to use the root to tip serum Everyone says that I smell like oils all the time and I realize that I use them in like every aspect of my life But like I think this is what they're actually smelling. It's a nice little oh, I have one that's open right here It has a nice little pump like this and I just pump like one or two squirts onto my palm Rub it around and I put it right at like the base of my scalp first If you get oily, I would start like underneath and work your way up And I also use it like after I would curl my hair like today I just like run my fingers through it to make it look smooth um, this can be helpful for like if you want to keep any unwanted bugs away. I don't know if you'll be like sharing hats or like what type of area you'll be living in, but you know there's sometimes bugs associated with like things with your hair if you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this can be a little extra preventative that way and not only that, but it's going to help your hair with um, staying healthy. So yeah, try that. So my tenth, my tenth and final tip even though I think several of those, there was like two put together like hair and skin, you know, I just snuck it in there. But this is my last tip to you, and this is kind of the like cover all. This is like, if you're really into it, you want to try this. You're going to need several oils to do this. So if you're planning on getting just started, I would suggest buying a kit so you have at least like 10 oils to try things with. But this is symphony of cells it's a little booklet it's very thin it's not going to take you a long time to read or anything like that i've never actually read it front to back i just use it when i need it but um it is created by boyd truman he is in doTERRA and he studied the systems of the body and there is a different protocol for each system so i'm going to read you a few of the protocols like cardiovascular protocol um chi protocol <laughs> that's a little different em embotic hormonal infectious disease infectious disease is like life-saving to me. If I think that anything is even remotely wrong with me, I do this protocol. And as you can see in this book, you can see there's like little symbols beside the oils and that tells you where you're going to place the oil. So it's like a little key and it's really simple to read. The first oil is frankincense and it shows that you can breathe it in, put it on your feet and put it on your back. And then you put your carrier oil on your spine and then you put oregano on your spine and your feet and then thyme on your spine and your feet and most of them are the same and it ends with peppermint you'll notice something in like almost all of these it's going to end with peppermint or fur oils or maybe even spearmint so spearmint any type of mint actually peppermint spearmint that type of thing um frankincense and furs are called driving oils and they help to kind of push all the oils that were layered on before them into your skin and like seal it all up and then it's like in there real good so if that makes sense you know um that's why they almost always end with this so he has studied these and he knows like the order that he wants you to put them on for different reasons the driving oils is just one reason one that sticks out to me and um this if you don't have someone to do it on your back now i was lucky enough to have my boyfriend do it on my back and you can see a little picture of that Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you don't have the opportunity to have someone rub it on your back, if you can't convince your roommate, I could not. Um, 
you can do it on your feet by yourself. And I actually did it on my feet. You kind of have to ignore the little cues, tell you to put on your spine and your feet. Just do it all on your feet. Do the same order, do the same thing, keep the carrot oil. You probably don't actually need carrot oil on your feet because carrot oils are typically used um, with like stronger oils or areas that are sensitive, but still use the carrier oil because it tells you to. And it's good to use the carrot oil, even if you don't think you need it because you don't think it's gonna be too harsh or anything on your skin. They can actually help sear it, seal in the oils, kind of like a driver would. It just like adds that little protection. It's gonna make the oils more effective. So don't skip any steps if you don't have to. But yeah, I would challenge you to try it on your feet at school if you can't um, have someone do it on your back because it is life-changing. I love this and it was kind of like my save all if I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to get sick and I don't want to and I'm doing everything else, like what else can I do? Um, it makes you feel like you've done something and you have, you've changed your whole body, you're targeting whatever system the protocol was for and helping other systems along with that because your body is all connected and everything works together. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something and I hope that you can take these tips if we ever go back to school, you can use them there, but if we don't go back to school or if you just wanna use them in general, I don't just do these things at college, like I do them all the time obviously there was a few differences and things that i had to do adjust to at college such as additional stress and the different like eating habits and the different waters that like made it more interesting with the oils i had to branch out a little bit get out of my comfort zone and use some things that i didn't ever use before but you can start this this summer you can start this whenever you want and make it a lifestyle make it something that you do every day um you're going to notice changes and then you're going to want to keep building upon that and building upon that and you're going to learn new things as you use these oils um i still learn and i've been using them my entire life so i hope that you enjoyed this you'll find that someday soon enough you will